Terrain Square Competition 2018. Could you be this year's champion? Time to find out all the information you need to know to enter. Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Right, today I'm going to share all the information that you need to know to enter this year's Terrain Square competition. Before that though, if you would like to keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40k, then please give me a sub and hit the bell button so you don't miss an upload. Okay, so here we go, all the information that you need to know about this year's terrain competition. Now, if there's anything that I don't cover here, or if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to put your questions in the comments box below and I'll be happy to answer them. Now if you haven't heard of my terrain making competition previously, we first started off making a piece of terrain on a square 12 by 12 inch board, hence the name Terrain Square Competition. However, each year we've had a little twist. So last year we made a corner piece of terrain, and the year before that we made a circular piece of terrain. However, as I'm sure you can guess by the title, this year we're making a bridge. And I have to say, I'm really excited about making a bridge for my board. And I hope that this will inspire you with some of your pieces of terrain too. So let's have a chat about some of the criterias regarding entering the competition. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the time scale that you have to make this piece of terrain. Because I know sometimes it can make or break the deal whether you enter. Now the competition starts on the 1st of March. And from the 1st of March, I'm going to give you eight weeks to get your piece complete. I think that's ample of time. Even if you don't get too much hobby time, you should be able to complete your project within eight weeks. Now you have to bear in mind that this piece of terrain that you're going to make has to be fully painted at the end. So it's no good spending eight weeks building a fantastic piece of terrain and then not having enough time to paint it. To enter the competition, to have a chance of winning the prize, your piece has to be painted. Now to enter the competition, all you have to do once you've completed your piece of terrain is make a video and upload it to YouTube. Now I appreciate not everyone has YouTube, however, this competition is quite a tricky one to judge. I usually get a lot of entries and I can't split my time between say Facebook or Google Plus or wherever. I've got to keep everything into one place. So you have to make a YouTube video. That can be just a slideshow of your finished piece if you wish. However, that's the only way that you can enter. So once you've done your piece, make a video, upload it to YouTube and let me know. And talking about that, if you are going to enter this competition, then please let me know in the comments box below and then I can subscribe to your channel so that I don't miss your entry. And then what I will do is I will put all of the entries into a playlist and I will judge the entries from the playlist itself. Now we usually have a good amount of entries and a fantastic standard for the terrain making competition. However, the idea of this competition isn't about making a fantastic piece of terrain. In actual fact, it's the opposite. The idea of this competition is just to get you making terrain. Because terrain making is so much fun. I personally really enjoy it. And as I said, I think it's the most creative side of the hobby. Making a piece of terrain is just fantastic, so much fun. And if you haven't experienced making a piece of terrain, then this is the place to start. Don't forget to like and share this video for me. Let's get as many people as we can inspired to make pieces of terrain. Now in terms of judging the pieces to get the prizes, that will be on my shoulders. So I will be judging them. Uh, I won't be judging them on the best pieces, the most technical pieces or anything like that. I will be judging them on gut instinct, on what I like. So as I always say in these competitions, it's not necessarily the best piece that's going to win, just my favorite piece. So just bear that in mind. It doesn't matter what your terrain making level is, you still have a chance of winning. Okay, so now I want to talk about the actual piece of terrain itself, i.e. the bridge. So this is quite an open category. The only criteria is that you have to have a bridge in your piece of terrain, or indeed, just a bridge as your piece of terrain. So your bridge can be any size that you like, size isn't important, however, you do have to have a bridge. 
you could potentially make a diorama with a bridge on. I know a lot of people like to make dioramas rather than actual pieces of terrain, and that is absolutely fine. Now your piece of terrain or your diorama could be for any system you like, bolt action, 40K, Age of Sigma, anything that you like, it's your project at the end of the day. Now this year's twist was inspired from my visits to War Games last year. I went to the Last Chance Open Tournament and Martin at War Games had some fantastic tournament tables there. And there was one table that really stuck out in my mind. And it was this table with a massive bridge on. It looked absolutely awesome. I didn't have a chance to play on it, but I can just imagine how cinematic it would be to play on a table like that. And ever since I've seen that table, I've always thought I would love to have a big bridge on my board. And that's where the inspiration came from. Now, not only did War Games inspire me for the twist of this competition, but also War Games are going to be sponsoring this year's prizes. So, let's find out what those prizes are. Okay, so the prizes for this year's competition. Now, we usually only have two, but this year, thanks to Martin at War Games, we're going to have three prizes. So I'm going to run over what the prizes are going to be, but first of all I just want to do a big shout out to War Games as the sponsor of A My Channel and B This Competition. So if you haven't heard of War Games yet, I will link you up to their YouTube channel just there. Check it out if you haven't done so already. And also if you'd like to check out their website www.wargamesuk.co.uk Go and check them out because they've got some fantastic deals for all of your hobby needs on the website. So it's www.wargamesuk.co.uk. Okay, so time to find out what the prizes are. In third place, we're going to have a prize of an Idic Beer t-shirt. And these are available to buy on the War Games website. If you're interested in checking them out, just go to the Merchandise tab and then you'll see the Idic Beer t-shirts. So I'm going to be giving one of those away for third prize. Now in second place, you will also win an Idic Beer t-shirt. But on top of that, you can either choose a First Strike box set, that's the 40k box set, or the Age of Sigmar equivalent, the Storm of Sigmar. So that's a pretty cool prize there for second place. Now in first place, you'll also win an Idic Beer t-shirt, but on top of that, you can win your choice of Start Collecting box set. So that is, again, a fantastic prizes. We've got three really great prizes on offer. So I hope that entices you even further to enter the competition. Okay, so that is all of the rules for the competition. Like I said, any questions, let me know in the box below. Now, if you plan on entering the giveaway, please feel free to make work in progress updates. Indeed, why not make a video on some of your ideas before the competition starts? Let's see what fantastic bridges you guys can make. I cannot wait. Beam me up.